Please so stand for our morning offering. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, Amen. O Jesus, through the Immaculate Heart of Mary and the faithful heart of Joseph, I offer you my prayers, works, joys, and sufferings of this day in union with the holy sacrifice of the Mass throughout the world. I offer them for the intentions of your Sacred Heart, the salvation of souls, reparation for sin, the reunion of all Christians. I offer them for the intentions of our bishops and all the clergy, and in particular, for the intentions of the Holy Father for the month of July. For the pastoral care of the sick, let us pray that the sacrament of the anointing of the sick bestows the Lord's strength to those who receive it and to their loved ones, and that it may become for everyone an ever more visible sign of compassion and hope. Amen. We fly to your patronage, your Holy Mother of God, despise not our petition and our necessities, but deliver us always from all dangers. O glorious and blessed Virgin. Amen. Panalangin kay Santa Marta. O Diyos na makapangyarihan, dahil sa dakila mong pagmamahal sa sangkatauhan, ay nagkatawang tao ang iyong anak at nakipamuhay sa amin. At sino mang tumanggap at sumasampalataya sa kanya, ay pinagkalooban mo ng kaligtasan. Natagpuan niya sa iyong lingkod na si Santa Marta ang walang pasubaling pagtanggap sa kanyang tahanan nang may masiglang paglilingkod at galak sa pakikipagkaibigan. Basbasan mo ang aming mga puso na maging laging bukas sa mabuting pagtanggap kay Jesus na ang nais ay ang pakikinig sa kanyang salita, nagbibigay buhay at tinawag na pinagpala ang lahat ng nagsasabuhay nito. Pakumbabang iniluluhog namin na ibuhos mo ang iyong masaganang pagpapala sa amin na nakakaalala-ala sa malal mal malalim na pag-ibig ni Santa Marta sa iyong anak. Alang-alang sa mga panalangin ni Santa Marta ay ipagkaloob mo ang aking kahilingan. Kung ito ay para sa kagalingan ko at sa kalwalhatian mo, sa halimbawa ng ulirang panan pananalig ni Santa Marta, ay maging buo lagi ang loob namin na ipahayag si Jesus, ang Mesiyas, ang anak ng Diyos, ang aming buhay at muling pagkabuhay. Patatagin mo kami sa pagtugon sa pagiging alagad ni Jesus at sa wakas ng aming paglalakbay dito sa lupa ay masapit na wa ang tahanang inihanda ni Jesus para sa amin sa langit at mamalas ang iyong kalwalhatian kasama ng lahat ng mga banal at ng lingkod mo na si Santa Marta. Hinihiling namin ito sa ngala ni Kristong aming Panginoon. Amen. Santa Marta ang pin pinatakasi namin, kami ay iyong idalangin. Horatio Imperata for Peace God, our Heavenly Father, Lord of Peace and Justice, we humbly come before you during this time of escalating geopolitical tensions in our part of the world. Through the years, you have sustained our faith in you as a nation. It is our faith in your divine providence 
that has made us survive the countless natural and human-caused calamities that have come our way in our history as a people. Spare us, Lord, from the horrors of war. Hear our pleas as we cry out to you. Have mercy on us, Lord. Rescue us from the malevolent forces that influence world leaders. For we believe that our struggle is not against flesh and blood, but against the rulers, against the authorities, against the powers of this dark world, and against the spiritual forces of evil in the heavenly realms. We pray for our leaders entrusted with making crucial decisions for our nation. We place all our hopes in you, seeking your forgiveness and mercy for the times when our fears and suspicions have tainted our perceptions with ethnic biases and prejudices verging on racism. We earnestly pray, Lord, that you make us instruments of your peace. Where there is hatred, let us bring love. Where there is injury, pardon. Where there is doubt, faith. Where there is despair, hope. Where there is darkness, light. Where there is sadness, joy. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, God forever and ever. Amen. Our Lady, Queen of Peace, pray for us. Saint Michael the Archangel, pray for us. Saint Joseph, pray for us. Saint Francis of Assisi, pray for us. Saint Lorenzo Ruiz, Pray for us. Saint Pedro Calungsod, pray for us. Nuestra Senora de Guia, pray for us. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Good morning, brothers and sisters. Welcome to our Eucharistic celebration. Today is the memorial of Saints Martha, Mary, and Lazarus. Jesus entered the village where a woman named Martha welcomed him into her home. We begin our celebration in the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, and the love of God, and the communion of the Holy Spirit be with you all. And with your spirit. Brethren, let us acknowledge our sins. And so prepare ourselves to celebrate the sacred mysteries. Lord Jesus, you came to gather the nations into the peace of God's kingdom. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Lord Jesus, you come in word and sacrament to strengthen us in holiness. Christ, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Lord Jesus, you will come in glory with salvation for your people. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Let us pray. Grant, we pray, Almighty God, that the example of your saints may spur us on to a better life, so that we who celebrate the memory of saints Martha, Mary, and Lazarus may also imitate without ceasing their deeds. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, 
One God forever and ever. Amen. A reading from the first letter of St. John. Beloved, let us love one another because love is of God. Everyone who loves is begotten by God and knows God. Whoever is without love does not know God, for God is love. In this way, the love of God was revealed to us. God sent His only begotten Son into the world so that we might have life through Him. In this is love, not that we have loved God, but that He loved us and sent His Son as expiation for our sins. Beloved, if God so loved us, we also must love one another. No one has ever seen God. Yet, if we love one another, God remains in us, and His love is brought to perfection in us. This is how we know that we remain in Him and He in us that he has given us of his spirit. Moreover, we have seen and testify that the Father sent his Son as Savior of the world. Whoever acknowledges that Jesus is the Son of God, God remains in him and he in God. We have come to know and to believe in the love God has for us. God is love, and whoever remains in love remains in God, and God in him. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. I will bless the Lord at all times. I will bless the Lord at all times. I will bless the Lord at all times. His praise shall be ever in my mouth. Let my soul glory in the Lord. The lowly will hear me and be glad. I will bless the Lord at all times. Glorify the Lord with me. Let us together extol his name. I sought the Lord and he answered me and delivered me from all my fears. I will bless the Lord at all times. Look to him that you may be radiant with joy, and your faces may not blush with shame. When the poor one called out, the Lord heard, and from all his distress, he saved him. I will bless the Lord at all times. The angel of the Lord encamps around those who fear him and delivers them. Taste and see how good the Lord is. Blessed the man who takes refuge in him. I will bless the Lord at all times. Fear the Lord, you his holy ones, for naught is lacking to those who fear him. The great grow poor and hungry, but those who seek the Lord want for no good thing. I will bless the Lord at all times. Please so stand to honor the Holy Gospel. Alleluia, alleluia. I am the light of the world, says the Lord. Whoever follows me will have the light of life. Alleluia, alleluia. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to St. Luke. 
Glory to you, O Lord. Jesus entered a village where a woman whose name was Martha welcomed him. She had a sister named Mary who sat beside the Lord at his feet, listening to him speak. Martha, burdened with much serving, came to him and said, Lord, do you not care that my sister has left me by myself to do the serving? Tell her to help me. The Lord said to her in reply, Martha, Martha, you are anxious and worried about many things. There is need of only one thing. Mary has chosen the better part and it will not be taken from her. My friends, the Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. Good morning, my dear brothers and sisters. Today, we commemorate three saints, Mary, Martha, and Lazarus. You know, formerly, it was only Martha Saint Martha, that our church commemorated. Hindi kasali si Mary at saka si Lazarus. Because there has been uncertainty about the identity of Mary. But Pope Francis in 2021 decreed that in the household of Bethany, the Lord Jesus experienced the family spirit and friendship of Martha, Mary, and Lazarus. Kaya, this is the reason why the two were also included in commemoration. I remember in 2022, yeah, we brought the Nazareno to the church in Bethany where this gospel happened. Oh, and now the Nazareno is staying there in Bethany. It's near Jerusalem, just walking distance. And in our gospel today, the spirit of friendship, the spirit of family was felt by Jesus. This is what our gospel is all about. How Mary and Martha served Jesus and how they made Jesus felt the family spirit. It was Martha who accepted Jesus in their home. Looking at the gesture of Martha, we could say that she is the active type. She's the active type. She was busy preparing something for Jesus. Sa tingin ko, karamihan naman sa atin, ganun. Kapag may bisita tayo, we always want the best. No? We always show the best. Uh, ganyan ang hospitality natin. Uh, more so, it was Jesus. Kung ibang tao, pinagkakaabalahan, si Jesus pa. Ang Diyos ang bumisita. Probably, Martha would just want Jesus to experience the best service that she could. But due to her excessive preparations, she could not help but complain to Mary, who was sitting at the feet of Jesus, listening to his teaching. And I could say, Mary, in the language of the church, is the contemplative type. Later on, Jesus acknowledged Mary for choosing the better part. One active and the other is contemplative. These are the spiritualities that we could learn from the two sisters. There is nothing wrong with Martha's choice 
of being active. Wala pong masama doon. Talaga naman, dapat kumikilos tayo. But the spirit of contemplative should not be disregarded. Just like going to Mass every day. Yeah, marami dito, no? Halos araw-araw nagsisimba. Nakikita ko, nagsisimba. There is no sense if we will just only pray and no actions is seen from us. Dasal tayo ng dasal, pero hindi tayo marunong tumulong sa ating kapwa. Simba ka ng simba, pero hindi ka marunong maawa sa iyong kapwa. Wala kang nararamdamang awa. There's something wrong with your spirituality. What is your prayer all about? Panghingi mo lang sa Diyos? Para lang sa pansarili mo? There's a big problem with your spirituality. If you know how to pray, but you do not know how to act. Hindi din naman pwedeng puro gawa at hindi tayo marunong magdasal. There should be a perfect balance between being active and being contemplative. You know, even monks who most of the time pray have also time to work. My dear brothers and sisters, being active and contemplative are spiritualities that should not be taken apart. For prayer is useless without action. Amen. The Lord Jesus found welcome in the home of Martha, her sister Mary, and their brother Lazarus. On this memorial of these, his three friends, let us ask the Lord Jesus for his friendship and his love. We pray and say, Lord, hear our prayer. Lord, hear our prayer. That we may make our home like the home of St. Martha, a haven of peace where people can find a ready welcome. We pray, Lord, Lord hear, hear our, our prayer, prayer, that we may serve the Lord in our brothers and sisters as St. Martha served Jesus and his disciples. We pray, Lord, Lord hear, hear our, our prayer, that like Mary, we may seek happiness in the presence of the Lord Jesus and the gift of his word and subordinate other things to the only thing that matters. We pray, Lord, hear our prayer, that inspired by the story of Lazarus, who promptly emerged from the tomb at the command of Jesus, we may hold on to our faith in Jesus, who is the resurrection and the life. We pray, Lord, hear our prayer. May we treasure the evangelical witness of Saints Martha, Mary, and Lazarus, who in their household in Bethany, let the Lord Jesus experience the family spirit and their friendship, we pray. Lord, hear our prayer. Let us pray for the urgent concerns of our community, those who seek intercession of Irhen de Gia and our personal intentions. We pray, Lord, hear our prayer. Father, Jesus, your son, was pleased to be welcomed by Martha, Mary, and Lazarus. He, in turn, loved them by welcoming our brothers and sisters in his name. May we find welcome in your eternal abode in heaven. Amen.
Blessed are you, Lord, God of all creation, for through goodness we have received the bread we offer you, fruit of the earth and work of human hands. It will become for us the bread of life. Blessed be God forever. Blessed are you, Lord, God of all creation, for through goodness we have received the wine we offer you, fruit of the vine, and work of human hands. It will become our spiritual drink. Blessed be God forever. Pray, brethren, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept this sacrifice at your hands for the praise and glory of His name, for our good and the good of all His holy church. As we proclaim your wonders in your saints, O Lord, we humbly implore your majesty that as their homage of love was pleasing to you, so too our dutiful service may find favor in your sight through christ our lord amen the lord be with you and with your spirit lift up your hearts we we'll lift them up to the lord let us give thanks to the lord our god it is right and just it is truly right and just our duty and our salvation always and everywhere to give you thanks lord holy father Almighty and eternal God, for you are praised in the company of your saints, and in crowning their merits, you crown your own gifts. By their way of life, you offer us an example. By communion with them, you give us companionship. By their intercession, sure support, so that encouraged by so great a cloud of witnesses, we may run as victors in the race before us, and win with them the imperishable crown of glory through Christ our Lord. And so, with the angels and archangels, and with the great multitude of the saints, we sing the hymn of your praise as without end we acclaim. Holy, holy, holy Lord God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord, Hosanna in the highest. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts, we pray, by sending down your Spirit upon them like the dewfall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and giving thanks, broke it and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is a chalice of my blood, the blood of a new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith. We proclaim your death, O Lord, and profess your resurrection until you come again. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. 
humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity together with Francis, our Pope, Jose, our Bishop, and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with Blessed Joseph, her spouse, with the blessed apostles, saints Martha, Mary, and Lazarus, and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him and with him and in him, O God Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. At the Savior's command, informed by divine teaching, we dare to say, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy, we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress, as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. And with your spirit. Let us offer each other the sign of peace. Peace be with you. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Grant us peace. Behold the Lamb of God. Behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word, and my soul shall be healed. Martha said to Jesus, You are the Christ, the Son of God, who is coming.
let us pray. May the holy reception of the body and blood of your only begotten Son, O Lord, turn us away from the, from the cares of this fallen world, so that following the example of Saints Martha, Mary, and Lazarus, we may grow in sincere love for you on earth and rejoice to behold you for eternity in heaven. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. Panalangin sa pag-iinsenso sa imahe ni Santa Marta. Ipanalangin mo kami, O Santa Marta, nang kami ay maging dapat makinabang sa mga pangako ni Kristo. Manalangin tayo. O Diyos na makapangyarihan sa haganapan ng panahon, ay sinugo mo ang iyong anak at siya ay nagkatawang tao. Namuhay siya sa piling ng tao at ipinahayag ang mabuting balita ng kaligtasan. Pinanggap siya at pinaglingkuran ng mga kaibigan sa kanilang tahanan at naging katuwang sa kanyang misyon. Matularan nawa namin si Santa Marta, ang ilan sa mga banal na babae na nananatiling matibay ang pananampalataya kay Kristo na Diyos at tagapagligtas. Kaming naging mga alagad ni Yesus dahil sa binyag ay maging tapat sa kanyang ebanghelyo at ipahayag ito sa banal na pamumuhay patungo sa inyong tahanan sa kalangitan. Hinihiling namin ito sa ngala ni Kristo na aming Panginoon. Amen. Panalangin sa pagbabasbas ng mga tinapay sa karangalan ni Santa Marta. Manalangin tayo. Ama naming makapangyarihan ng magkatawang tao ang iyong anak ay nakatagpo siya ng mga kaibigan na malugod siyang tinanggap sa kanilang tahanan. Ang iyong maluwalhating lingkod na si Santa Marta ay nagbukas ng kanyang tahanan para kay Jesus Nanalig siya na si Yesus ang Mesiyas, ang anak ng Diyos na naparito sa daigdig. Hinihiling namin na iyong basbasan. Ang mga tinapay na ito na tinipon upang sa aming kapwa ay pamahagi at masayang magpaalala ng dakilang pagdilingkod at ulirang pagkakaibigan ni Santa Marta at Jesus. Matularan nawa namin si Santa Marta sa kanyang matibay na pananalig at katapatan bilang isang alagad ng iyong anak. Sa tulong ng kanyang mga panalangin ay makasapit na wa kami sa langit na tahanan na para sa amin ay inihanda ng iyong anak at doon ay walang humpay na purihin ka kasama ng lahat ng mga banal at ang aming pintakasing si Santa Marta. Hinihiling namin ito sa ngalan ni Yesu Cristo na aming Panginoon. Amen. Pagkatapos po ng ating pagdiriwang, mangyari lamang pong pumila at ang lahat po ay makakatanggap ng tinapay ni Santa Marta. O, paumanhin po, hindi ako makalapit sa inyo. Ah, masama po ang pakiramdam ko. O, para safe po ang lahat, dito lang po ako sa altar. O, sumayin niyo ang Panginoon. At sumayin niyo rin. Pagpalain kayo ng makapangyarihang Diyos, Ama, Anak at Espiritu Santo. Amen. Tapos na po ang ating pagdiriwang, may kaing taglay ang pag-ibig at kapayapaan ni Kristo. Salamat.